Yo, who wants to lose 60 pounds in the next 30 days? Hmm, everybody a bit. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. That shit ain't possible. Well, it probably is, but you'd have to do something pretty damn extreme to get you there. All right, so, and you're probably wondering why the hell have I put that as a title? Well, I'm, going to, I'm not going to lie. People have actually put that as a goal. People have told me that that's a goal in their life, that they want to lose 30, 60 pounds in 30 days because they've got a wedding to go to. What the hell, man? Right, so this is, this is one of the biggest reasons that people struggle to reach their goals when it comes to weight loss, all right? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a massive believer in setting yourself a pretty high goal, all right? I think if you reach for the moon and you come home with a star, you are onto a winner, all right? However, with that being said, your goals have got to be achievable, all right? So they've got to be big enough that they scare you, but they've got to be realistic enough that you actually can achieve them, all right? And so many people set these crazy, unrealistic goals. I'm gonna have to adjust my course because there's a, another wee dog coming. Come on this way. So many people set these crazy, unrealistic goals. And then when, they, you know, when they're not getting to their goals in the first 10, 15, 20 days, they start beating themselves up and before you know it, they're going round in circles and they're not actually getting anywhere. And then they go on this whole path of self-destruction where they start stuffing their face with pizza because they believe that they can't actually lose any weight. All right? The problem isn't the process. The problem is not what you were doing. The problem is the goal has been far too unrealistic. All right? If you set yourself a goal that isn't possible, something that you can't achieve, then <laughs> you're just setting yourself up for failure. All right? So... When you're setting yourself a weight loss goal, this completely depends on your starting point. If you're in a position right now, you've got a lot of weight to lose, then you could be looking at losing, in your first few weeks, you're going to lose a lot. You're going to get what's called a whoosh effect. But then that's going to teeter off and you're going to just hit this level, right? Going forward from there, anywhere from two pounds at a top end level is good. But realistically, half a pound to a pound is probably what you're aiming for over the course of a week. All right, every single week, half a pound to a pound and you are on to a winner. Is that going to lose you 60 pounds in 30 days? Hell no, not a chance. But that is completely unrealistic. And this is the problem a lot of people have. This is probably one of the problems that you have when you're setting yourself your weight loss goals, especially around the new year. You put on all this weight in the lead up to Christmas. You eat like a pig at Christmas time. I know I do. And then all of a sudden you get to... 1st of January and you think, right, that's it, New Year's resolution. I'm going to lose all this weight. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to set myself this goal. I'm going to lose this amount of weight. And then either you don't set yourself a process to get yourself there so you don't lose any weight anyway, or when you're not losing what you've set yourself out to lose or what you think you should be losing in the first couple of weeks, you start beating yourself up over it. It's because your goals have been far too unrealistic. All right, so set yourself an achievable goal. So all of my clients, when we come on board... I set them a goal of anywhere up to 40 pounds in the first 90 days. And that is completely dependent on their starting point. Does everybody lose that? No. All right, if you don't have 40 pounds to lose, you're not going to lose 40 pounds. Some guys come to me, they've only got 15 pounds to lose. All right, so half a pound a week for those guys is pretty damn achievable. All right, so the message is here, guys. Look, don't stop setting yourself some crazy, unrealistic goals and then kicking your own arse when you're not achieving them. Set yourself something that you can achieve. Work out how much weight you've got to lose and then look to be losing anywhere from half a pound to a pound realistically and sustainably every week. If you have a lot to lose, up to two pounds a week is probably a pretty good starting point, right? That's where you're going to, you're going to be aiming for, right? Stick with that process. Concentrate on the steps it takes to get you to your goal and you're going to achieve some pretty big results. Expect to lose a stupid amount in the first three or four weeks of your program. All right, you're just going to go down the shitter. All right, so anyway, I hope this was super useful for you. If you have any questions, if you're unsure what you should be setting for yourself as a realistic goal, ping me a message right now, and obviously I'd love to have a chat with you. Um, if you know anybody that would take any value from seeing this message, if they've set themselves a ton of goals in the past and they've failed, they've crashed, they've burned, and they're feeling shit about themselves, please tag them in this video so they can see it, so they can get some value, so they can maybe actually set themselves on the right path to some more sustainable weight loss, so they can feel a lot better about themselves in the future. All right, have an awesome rest of your Tuesday, and I'll speak to you soon.